Let's talk about leave effect, AKA norepinephrine. So you're gonna see this IV medication mostly in the ED or the ICU or any critical care unit. So it's a catecholamine, that's its chemical class. For indication, you're gonna use it for hypotension, septic shock, and cardiogenic shock. So levofed mostly affects your alpha-1 receptors, but it also has minimal effects on your beta-1 receptors. So for alpha-1, you're gonna see vasoconstriction. So you're gonna constrict those arteries and veins. For beta-1, you're gonna see increased heart rate and increased contractility. So you're gonna have an increase of your chronotropic and your inotropic effects. So how are you gonna find levofed? You're gonna find it in a four milligram in 250 D5W, which equals 16 micrograms per ml, or you're gonna see it in an eight milligram in 250 D5W, which is gonna be 32 mics per ml. So you're gonna see it in one concentration and then a double of that concentration. So typically your titration orders that you're gonna get start at five micrograms per minute, increase by five micrograms per minute, every five minutes with a max of 30 micrograms per minute. And the whole reason is you want to achieve at least a map of 65. If you can, always run it through a central line. If all you have is peripheral access, try to get a bigger vein like in the AC. Just something to note, typically you're gonna run it around four mics per minute in a peripheral vein for a max of four hours. But if you're in a central line, you don't have to worry about that. So you're gonna to want to educate your patient have them tell you if they feel any burning or tingling or leaking at their IV site. If your IV site has infiltrated, could cause tissue damage or necrosis. And in that case, you're gonna to wanna to get the doctor to order you fentolamine subcutaneous. Fun fact, back in the day, before my day, nurses used to say, leave a fed, leave them dead. And that's because that's such an intense vasoconstriction that you would constantly find people with uh, necrotic limbs or also necrotic renal tissue. So it's safe to say they've worked a little bit of the kinks out. 